Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture on quiet physics practical. Today, I'll be looking at electricity aspect of the practical. So I will not be performing the experiment today because I have not fully charged my battery. So this is a battery, an accumulator that is going to provide a two volt EMF for our experiment. So after charging the battery, hopefully before the week runs out, we are going to perform the experiment. But here, I just want to quickly run through the guides on what you should be expecting from based on the parameters that Wired specified for this experiment. Like all other previous experiment that we have done, we can see that Wired, Wired demands for uh, materials that could involve different type of uh, practicals for physics. In question one, they did it. In question two, they did also did the same thing. And for this, they also do, did the same thing. So you can look at the diagram here. This is a possible case scenario for the physics practical for the combination of all the materials that we have that are required for the practical. So here you can see this is a potential a meter bridge. This is a meter bridge. So this is a meter bridge from zero to one hundred. That's why it's called a meter bridge because it's 100 cm long. That's a meter short long. Here, I do not have a question here for this, but here, this could be the one ohm resistor you are asked to provide. And since the voltmeter is always connected in parallel to the resistor, so I decided to connect the voltmeter with the, resist one, uh, the one ohm resistor. Now, here, on the other end, open end of the of the instrument, I connected a resistant bus here. The resistant bus, they may ask you to change the values of the resistant bus. This is a resistant bus here. You can see the knob here that you can use to you know plug, remove the plug to measure the to determine the red resistance. This can also be used. In place of a real start. Okay. Then we have the jockey. So you can see the jockey connected to this, and we have what? The cell. This is the positive side of the cell connected to this. This is a real start. This is a real start. A real start, you use a real that you slide it across to vary the resistance. You vary the resistance by sliding it up and what? Down. Then, we have an ammeter. So you are familiar with an ammeter. The ammeter is always connected in series with the, the connection, whatever, whatever connection you want to do. So that's why I connected this in series. And mind you, this, all of these components here, these three components here, can be placed anywhere along this path. And also, the essence of this is to vary the current that flows through the world, the ammeter. So you can use this to vary the correction and connection and the current rather that flows through what the ammeter. Then we have a key switch. So this is my key switch. The key switch, when you close it, you close the circuit. That's why you see that this is open. You close the switch, then you have closed the what the circuit. Now I'm going to do the uh, carry out the connection on this. I'm going to show you how it is connected. Now, there's something I want to explain here. These are the possible things they may ask you to do. They may ask you to vary to vary the length to vary the length of this jockey on the meter bridge. You may be asked to do that and also asked to vary this and this to determine a particular current. They may ask you to vary this to determine the particular current that is flowing through the world and it up. Now, when they ask you to do that, they may, you may have something of this nature. You do not know this resistor because it may be sealed. 
So you can, they may ask you to change the resistance, the value of the resistance. So this may be called arrow or maybe any other letter. This may be called S or this may be called S. Why this is called arrow? So let me change this. Let me call this X and this is arrow. You may be asked to set arrow to any value. Let's say 1 ohm, 1.0 ohm, 2.0 ohm, 4.0 ohm, 5.0 ohm, 6.0 ohm, maybe 10.0 ohm. These are specific speculative values. Then they may ask you to adjust the real stance to determine the current that flows here. These are possibilities to adjust the current that flows through this point here. So when you adjust the current that flows through, they may ask you to read the current when you adjust this until the current gives you a particular value. They may tell you the current that will flow through there. A, okay, I, in R, you may be told, adjust this to read a particular current from here. Let's say maybe 0 0.40 amp, 0 0.50 amp, 0 0.60 amp, 0 0.70 amp, 0 0.80 amp, 0 0.90 amp, depending on what they ask you. So you may be asked to, the, uh, to get this. So I'm just trying to look at what possible case scenario they may ask you to do. So then they will tell you that as you are recording the current, you should also record the what? The voltage that is across the circuit, the voltage in volt. Then you begin to read and record the voltage from here. So they may ask you, because you have a real start, they will ask you to adjust the real start to determine the current that is flowing through here and also determine the voltage that is what? Flowing through this place. Since the real start does not have a value, they may tell you the current that you are going to data, uh, adjust the real start to get. They may tell you that. Okay? Then what else again? Okay, they may also tell you, they can also tell you, adjust this, this, and the length. So it is possible for them to ask you to adjust, to slide this on the length, to determine the length in centimeter. So you also determine that, they may tell you the length that you are going to adjust it to. Maybe they, they can say 20.0 centimeter, 25.0 centimeter, 30.0 centimeter, 35.0 cm, 40.0 cm, 45.0 cm. These are possibilities. So, I, from here, if you, are, if you are to use this instrument, very sure they, 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 you, are going, you are going to be given value of arrow. If, they, if that is going to come out, they are going to be given the value of current that you use this to adjust this to. You are going to use this to adjust the current. That's for sure. Then you can use this to determine the length here. Possibilities. These are the possibilities. So these are the possibilities. It may not necessarily be all of them, but it may be the possibility of all of this. Let me, I'm going to demonstrate this on the, on the instruments that I have here. Then let me go to this. Another possible scenario is this, to uh, verify Ohm's law. Since you are not given the a galvanometer to determine the end point, the balance point rather. So since you're not giving that, then they may ask you, they may ask you to, they'll give you the length to which you are going to want determine what you are looking for. Okay, so these are the possibilities. These are the possibilities that you can get from this combination. Okay, so if you look at Ohm's law, verification of Ohm's law is a very good possibility based on the instruments they ask you to what provide. And I'm sure that at the end of the day, we may not be doing this setup. It may simply be the verification of Ohm's law. If it is the verification of Ohm's law, it's going to be very simple. Now what do you do? Here you can see that I wrote a real start or a resistant boss. Because the resistant boss can perform the duty of what? The real start. The issue here is that for the resistant boss, you will be asked to set the resistance to a particular what value. But for this, you will not be asked to set it to any particular value. You will be asked to adjust this to determine the current flowing through the ammeter. That's what they will ask you to do. If you are using the real start on this, you will have to adjust the real start to determine the current flowing through the what circuit. Okay? 
But if you are using the resistant bus, you are going to be told to set the resistant values to different what levels. When you set the resistant value to different levels, let's say for, for instance, case scenario. Arrow in ohms. So this is going to be arrow. The resistant value is going to be represented by arrow or and this if this is unknown x or it will be arrow one, arrow two. The uh, bottom line is to understand what this is. So you may be asked to set the, re the resistant bus to 1.0 ohms, 2.0 ohms, 4.0 ohms, 5.0 ohms, it could be higher values, 6.0 ohms, 8.0 ohms. Then they will now ask you, when you set that, you take the readings of the current ampere and the ammeter in ampere and the reading on the voltmeter in volts. Possible case scenario. Now, if it is the real star that is being used, then this is what you are going to get. The resistance, board, the resistance will not be there. You will be giving values for the current, and they will ask you to use the adjust the real star to determine those currents. So let's say, for example, the currents that you are giving are I in ampere, and then they, they must ask you to determine the what? The voltage. So maybe, maybe for example, you are asked to use the real star to adjust the real star to get 0 0.20 amp, 0 0.40 amp, 0 0.60 amp, 0 0.80 amp, 1.00 amp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.20 amp. You notice that I am taking them to six values in why this is practical for electricity. The real values are always taken to what? Six values. So this is what you will get. The, the, now, when you are adjusting this, and you get the current from the, from the amp, uh, ammeter, you will not be asked to read the voltmeter, the voltage from the what? Voltmeter. Either way, always understand that the voltmeter will always be connected in parallel with the unknown what? Resistance. You see that? What I did here, I connected with the unknown resistance. I also did it with this. So that is what you should be expecting and hopefully by the grace of god like i said i would have filled this with the acid recharge it and perform the experiment on both of these and possibly if there are other experiments that we can carry out i will do them on this so you should be expecting this we may use all the materials and it is possible that we cannot use all of the materials just like in question one, in question two, and in question three.